Hello again, or hello for the first time. Today, we're in Camillus on the old Erie Canal, old Erie Canal, the Clinton's Ditch. This sounds spooky, doesn't it? But it's it's not really. <laughs> there's there's a museum nearby, the Sims Museum. What? Oh, I'm sorry. You just totally caught me texting my brother. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's beautiful, though. I do pay attention sometimes. <laughs> but what I was going to point out is that we are actually right next to the original what what is now uh, uh barge canal erie canal this was clinton's ditch right here nicknamed so because of dewitt clinton the uh i think governor of new york at the time that what? was like here let's ditch. yeah let's let's build a, a canal through new york state it was dug between 1817 and 1825 and ran 363 miles through east-west through New York State but this is the original like mules would have walked down here and we're um, trying something new this week where I'm going to do a, a video every day <laughs> for the whole week and I might be crazy <laughs> but this is our first one and we're gonna go back that way and check out the uh, just around the museum. The museum is open today, but there's so much stuff in there It would be a disservice to actually go inside mm -hmm. and do a video with like five minutes. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, here we are They have a nice little picnic pavilion and things like that. There's a lot of activities here over the summer If anyone's interested, I will leave all the information you need to know in, uh, <laughs> I'll leave all the information you need to know down in the description box but gonna see all the some of the displays they have here i like this old building and it turns out it's not this isn't like a shack for anyone or whatever but they moved it here from port byron new york uh, october 1st 2003 and it's a privy from the canal days it was located at 46 canal street in port byron and uh this they loaded it on a truck and brought it here and put it on a concrete foundation. So when they did that in 2003, this was 133 years old or 135 years old. And it's uh, pretty amazing. Also over here they have um, salt brine pipes. It's a black tupelo tree and uh, in case you don't know, Syracuse was the number one, like the biggest salt producer in the world at one point. And uh, this is what they used to get the brine to the vats. You can kind of... Can you see me? I see Yeah. You. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> then they would boil the water to... Uh, get the salt it's the boat they're loading up for the next tour and they have a few boats that they'll take out here and the tour is about a half hour long uh, the last time we took it it's about a half hour and the trip when we got here that was about 1 30 and that trip was at one o'clock so they're coming back but it goes down a ways here and there's an aqueduct that they rebuilt and that's pretty much why this place is historically significant. They uh, really took time to make sure everything was uh, preserved. There's some fish in there, fishies. I don't see any snapping turtle today. Oh, there goes the tour. So that's where the boat departs from. And over here, it's the uh, museum, the recreated store. And they have a couple things through here that are pretty interesting to look at. So we're gonna go in here, like this replica of a lock house at Gear, from Gears Lock. Right, so. And it still says lock 50 on the side. It's Gears Lock number 50 lock gate. They excavated this. Oh, well, they have a display now of how it works. That's probably the doors right there, or some of them.
operating the lock. Yeah. <laughs> They've got it on both sides. Yeah, so that would like let the water in and out. Those are right here. <laughs> and then crazy. after it met the level that you were trying to get to, you would just uh, open the gates. That's so crazy. Who would who would imagine this is, would still be around? Mm -hmm. You can shut it. In. One little one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, it's got. Yeah, it's the same angle and everything. That's a nice touch. I like it a lot. And here's the sign: uh, Gears Lock Number 50 Lock Gate Excavation and Rescue. So the, to unbury that thing. Look at that. the innovation that's a stump puller when they were digging the canal and come across these huge stumps and this is a small one so they would pull the stump out of the ground with that stump removal using stump pullers and before this most stumps were removed using manual labor and farm animals Look at that. I pull out a couple stumps. That's made in Brooklyn. What did you find? Lifeboat. Dave Peck and Pow. Look at it. It's got metal air tanks so it can stay afloat even when capsized. Oh wow. Note the metal grass bars on the bottom of the boat. So, in the Albany area for quite some time. During Hurricane Irene, it was washed into the Hudson River and was rescued and made available to the Canola Sierra Canal Park. The lifeboat was. Yeah. Yeah, so this lifeboat was on this. Uh, maybe that's it right there. It's pretty long. Oh. It's like 20 feet. Oh, there's the handles down there. You just saw them? Yeah. So if it was capsized, you could still cling to it. Yeah. They have a nice little area here. I guess it's for meetings and such. Wow. Yeah, they have a map up there with the entire length of the Erie Canal. I don't know if it'll focus on that, but... I read someone on Tumblr said that when they learned about it in school, they were not from New York, that they didn't realize that the canal went east to west in New York. Yeah, so this is the picture of what they uh, were taught in school, that the canal went north-south between the two lakes there, Ontario and Erie, and it goes east-west between Buffalo and Albany. So even if you're like not in school, uh, this person learned this when they were uh, 30, that it went east-west, and they were impressed by that. Buoy boat number 159 here. Let's a little information about it here. It's uh, built in 1930. And it's just right here. It's part of the canal system at one point. I guess it still is. Is it neat inside? Yeah, it says, it says that it was used to service buoys when they used kerosene. It's pretty amazing just to be able to walk up to these things. Yeah, built in Syracuse, New York, 1930. Length 28 feet. Buoy boats were used on the barge canal to service the channel marking buoys when kerosene lights we're still used. Yeah, got tanks of kerosene out here. Pretty incredible because the barge canal, that, this stuff was like a 24 hour operation.
here's the Sims Museum. This is what the store actually looked like. They have some photos. I don't see any out here right now, but they have some photos of the original inside. If you guys want to see, or if anyone wants to see what's in here, uh, give me a shout in the comments and we'll go inside sometime. And then also, this is a halfway point. This is also why it's, it's 175 miles to Albany or Buffalo. Whichever way you decide to go, you're gonna go the same distance. Sign here. Oh wait, is the other side of this? Is this where I saw that picture? Oh yeah, there it is. Huh. And it's cool. a pretty good re recreation of that. And Aqueduct, we did another video on that. If you want to see that, I'll link that. And then uh, some of the rest of the property here. So your favorite part was the model lock that they had over yeah. there model doors yeah it was very cool I like that you can open and close it and it's next to the giant old one so you can really really visualize how it was done yeah, it's pretty wild nice, nice hands-on experience yeah I love all the little artifacts here and everything that they've saved from pretty much it would have been gone by now if they didn't step in mm -hmm. back in the 70s and 80s and stuff yeah this is a nice place yeah. everybody's out enjoying the day yeah biking Especially, there's like a little bike station right here. You can fix your chain and whatever you, whatever. Mm -hmm. Go as far as you want, down the canal. Yeah, and uh, jogging, running, and um, fishing also. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of people fishing. This is just like, this parking lot's crazy busy. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to see more stuff, we're going to be going around to different places this week. I'm going to try to do the challenges one video a day for the next week, we see if we it. can do it, yeah. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we'll make it through. Yeah. So we'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Of course, before you leave, <laughs> please check vehicles for stowaway cats. That's you can't keep them. No, come on, it'd be no. great. No, you can't keep them. <laughs> <laughs>